Amen, sir. Peace through strength. Our next question is from Sarah. Sarah is a VA advocate. Sarah, where are you at? Oh, perfect. Hi, Sarah. You good? We're working now? Um, as you know, you talked about Walter Reed, sir, and I'll just say my husband is one of the most catastrophically wounded surviving service members, and you visited with him there many times. Wow. And this past so July, you saw him in Charlotte. Yes, sir. Is he here? No. Is Not he tonight, here? but you just saw him this summer, so he was so happy to Good. see you this That's summer. Great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I want to talk about all the advancements you made for community care, and you empowered veterans to choose their own providers. And Secretary Murphy. And I was so proud to stand with you many times in the White House as you signed historic legislation and executive orders to take care of our military and veteran families. We've watched that community care access where a veteran can choose his or her own provider. We've watched that be actively limited and actively rolled back. President Trump, how are you going to bring that back as a day one priority and give veterans the choice for the best medical care back again? It's such a great question, and, and thank you. And what a good wife that is, and I'll bet your husband's great. You love your husband, right? You know, the people like you, what is your first name? Sarah. Sarah. People like Sarah are so important to our country because they take care of people that are great heroes, real heroes, and they take care. And if they didn't take care, or the hospitals would be unable to do it. They just would be there this right now. I mean, with all of the migrants, the migrants have taken over our hospitals. They've taken over our schools. We don't have anything. But people like Sarah, the job they do is incredible. And they do it out of pure love. They don't do it for any other reason. They do it out of pure love. And we have to help them. We have to help them because the medical costs would be unaffordable by our nation. It would be totally unaffordable. And it was better before, and I heard it sliding. I spoke with Robert before, and he who did, by the way, an incredible job. You did an incredible job. Stand up, please. And Sarah, we had, thank you, Robert. You know, we had a 92% approval rating at the VA, 92%. Now it's down into the 40s. We had a thing called choice, where if you had to wait too long for a doctor, you know the story. If you had to wait too long, guys were waiting four, five, six months. They go in with a minor problem. They end up being terminally ill because they didn't take care of it. It could have been taken care of with a shot, with a pill, with a minor operation. They end up dying. And we changed it, and we had choice. We also had accountability, remember? Accountability. So on choice, they tried to get it for 52 years. Accountability for 58 years. Accountability, you couldn't fire anybody in the VA. And I said, that's no good because you had sadists in the VA. You had bad people in the VA. We had some bad people. And we fired about 9,000 people, and we replaced them with 9,000 good, loving people that love our heroes, right? That love our patriotic heroes. And that was a big thing. And I just said to Robert, how's it going nowadays? How is it going? And he said, they're getting rid of choice rapidly. Choice is when you can't see a doctor rapidly. You go outside, you find the doctor, you get yourself fixed up, and Sarah, we pay the bill. And it was a great thing. And he said it's rapidly uh, not being used, not being allowed to be used. And, you know, I think it actually didn't cost. I think it was probably, in, in the end, we probably saved on it. But money isn't the big thing here. I think it actually, we saved money on it because people would get very, very sick. These are people that would wait four, five, six months to see a doctor. If you had to wait more than one day, you go out, you see a doctor. We had bills negotiated, fees negotiated. You know, we can't be uh, totally crazy with this because the doctors are pretty good business people, I will tell you, right? But we had a lot of fees negotiated. But you go out, see a doctor, get yourself fixed up, and you have no problems. It was one of the best things we ever did. And now this group of lunatics that don't give a damn about the military, they're making you go through that waiting of four, five, six months again. And our people can't handle We have great doctors, but they can't handle the loads. And we're going to go back. We get back in. We're going back to that, right? We're going back to it immediately. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're going to be in great shape, Sarah. You and your husband are going to be in great shape. And thank you very much. Incredible. Thank you, 